Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had seven drivers seeing action this weekend, so let's get started. Anthony Alfredo was at Talladega Super Speedway for his first NASCAR Cup Series start in his number 38 Speedy Cash Ford Mustang. Anthony started the race from the 30th position, ran as high as six, but mostly tried to stay out of the hornet's nest biding his time to make sure he was still in position at the end of the race. Let's check in with Anthony for a post-race recap and see how his strategy worked out. Finished 12th here at Talladega Super Speedway, first NASCAR Cup Series, top 15, top 20 as well for that matter, but really proud of our team at Front Row Motorsports. We kept the nose of our SpeedyCash.com Ford Mustang clean all day and we're there at the end when it matters most. So. Sometimes it's challenging to force yourself to ride in the back like that. You really want to get up there and get up to the front, lead some laps maybe, and uh, be in the mix. But at the same time, you gotta, in order to win the race, you have to make it to the end. So we played it safe, was conservative, and had a shot at it at the end. So I can't wait for the next one. Thank you all for the support. Congratulations. I'm sure there are more top 15 finishes in your future. Up next for Anthony, Kansas Speedway on May 2nd. Connor Mozak was making his debut at Sonoma Raceway in the Pirelli Trans Am Series in his number 28 SLR entry, and it was a stout debut as he qualified second and brought home a second place finish in his Nick Taylor Interstate Foam and Supply Chevy Camaro. Up next for Connor this weekend at WeatherTech's Laguna Seca, May 1st and 2nd. Bryce Mazanson had a great weekend at Wenatchee Valley Super Oval in his number seven Jefferson Racing Ford. Bryce qualified third, led a race high 98 laps, and came home in second place in the 150 lap main event. Up next, Super Late Models at State Line Speedway, May 15th. Caden Honeycutt was at Orange County Raceway for the $30,000 to win Cars Tour Old North State Nationals on Sunday. Caden qualified 10th for the 200 lap feature and brought home a 10th place finish against a stack field of some of the best late model drivers from around the country. Up next for Caden, Cars Tour at A Speedway on May 7th. Joe Valento was also at Orange County Raceway for the Old North State Nationals in his number 17 DGR Ford where the team went to a backup car just before the start of the race because they could not get the handling on the primary car figured out. Joe qualified 23rd, raced his way up to 11th on lap 89, but unfortunately had contact from another car on lap 91, sending him into the wall, ending his day. Up next for Joe, Cars Tour at A Speedway, May 7th. Gavin Graham pulled double duty this weekend in his Kurt Brett Motorsports number 38 Pro Truck. First at Five Flag Speedway, where he finished third in his heat race, started fifth in the feature. Gavin quickly started to move towards the front and moved into third on lap four, then second on lap 10, and took the lead on lap 20 and went on to win the 30 lap feature. It was now time to head to Chris Motorsports Park in Cordell, Georgia, for Sunday's pro truck race, could the young 13-year-old pull off the weekend sweep? Yes, he could. Gavin qualified first and led every lap to park it in victory lane for his second win of the weekend. Let's take a look at an aerial view of that last lap at Cordell. Up next for Gavin, Pro Trucks at Mobile International Speedway on May 1st. Brody Moore was at Madera Speedway for round three of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series where he qualified sixth and brought home a second place finish. Here's a short post-race recap from the driver. 
Hey everyone, it's Bertie Moore here. We just finished up race number three here at Madeira Speedway in the 5150 Junior Late Model Series. The car is super fast all week and the fastest we've ever been, so I'd like to thank Wilson Motorsports for all the hard work they put in. The first 40 laps of the race were fairly good. The car was a little tight in and loose off, but at the halfway break we were fourth place and my crew chief and spotter Charlie Wilson made the right adjustment, so we were right there for the last 30 laps of the race where he ended up finishing second. So I'd like to thank Assurance Risk Managers, Multi Insurance Plan, California Apartment Associations, Spring Hill Suites by Marriott at Madeira, Race Face Advancement, and Friend to Jacqueline, uh, as well as Kenny Shepard and 5150s for all the hard work they put in to make this series work. So we'll be back here on May 22nd, so be sure to tune in to that on Short Track Live TV. Thank you. Brody has not finished outside of the top four in three starts this year and currently sets second in points heading into round four on May 22nd. Other drivers seeing action include Sheldon Creed, who will be at Kansas Speedway in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, and Jesse Love, who will return to the TC America Series at Circuit of Americas. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face driver. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.